Oh. Uh, thank you so much, Emily and Andrew. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause again to our classmates. I'm a huge, I'm a huge jazz fan, and you all are most certainly the real deal. Thank you. So class of 2025, look at you. You're looking really good in your regalia. It's your graduation day. You did it. Congratulations. And congratulations to all of your loved ones, all of the people who helped support you, your parents, your brothers and your sisters, your aunties and your uncles, and friends. This is a special day for them, too. They are so proud of you. And a warm welcome to the loved ones who are here with us today on Killian Court. They've come from all over to celebrate you. And a special shout out to, to those who are watching from afar, wishing they could be here with you in person. <laughs> Class of 2025, you've made a lot of memories during your time here, from classes to crushes, from the East Campus Rex build, to the Simmons ball pit, to next haunt, from Europe's to the hobby shop, from the infinite to the infinite. So I'd like to take you back to the fall of 2021, when you arrived here at MIT. You traveled from all parts of the country and the world, from 62 countries to be exact, and landed right here in Cambridge. Together, you became the class, MIT's class of 2025. And you arrived on campus all bright-eyed and beaver-tailed after missing a lot of in-person high school rituals, a lot of the high school experience. So you were extra eager for college, and more specifically, you were super excited to be MIT students. Although the campus was officially fully open for the first time since the COVID shutdown, students, staff, and faculty were all here in person with Zoom taking a back seat to living in real life. Yeah. <laughs> There were still a lot of protocols in, in place. You had to get through all of the COVID tests because we were still testing then, and I'm sure you all remember the Ziploc bags. You swabbed and you submitted attestations because you wanted the keys to unlock doors to the labs, classrooms, and all the experiences that make MIT, MIT. And once you gained access, you discovered the campus that was shiny and welcoming, yet a little bit dusty after being mostly empty for a long time. And there were no manuals on how to animate, reanimate this place. You didn't flinch. You chose MIT because you liked to solve problems and your inner beaver came out to bring the campus back to life to make it a home. You were curious. You surveyed the landscape and you started to dig into the past in order to build your future. You sought out seniors, the class of 2022, to read you in to show you the ropes. And they really, they really did come through for you. They felt the urgency of their limited time left on campus, and they taught you how to MIT. You also poured through archival records of clubs, soaking up history to guide you forward. You filled in the gaps by speaking with faculty and staff and alums. You evaluated the options, decided what you wanted to revive and what you wanted to scrap. And true to your nature as MIT students, you launched new stuff. You innovated and invented. And you built communities from FPOPs and orientation through 801 and 1802, your HAS classes, and your peace set groups. You built communities in your dorms and in your sororities and fraternities. You built communities through your sports, through your hobbies, and through the arts. You built communities all across campus. And you learned that building communities is not all, always easy and quick. It takes effort, patience, and a willingness to listen and learn from others. But in the end, it is so worth it because you've met and made friends with really interesting people, some with similar backgrounds and others from very different backgrounds. And from that interesting and diverse group, you've identified your crew, the people with whom you share not only interests, but your dreams, your fears, your concerns, your laughs, and your tears. You've made real connections, connections that lead to a lifetime of friendship. Over the past four years, right before our eyes, 
You've... Today, excuse me, I respect that you have a message to send, but this is not the time or place. Today is about our graduates and their families. Please respect them and allow me to continue. We have people here from all over the world and all over the country who are proud, their families are here, as well as the other graduates. You have the decency to respect the process and let the families enjoy. This is the day of the graduates. We are here to celebrate you and to reward your, your degrees. Over the past four years, right before our eyes, you've demonstrated the value and power of higher education to change lives. Throughout your time at MIT, you ideated, you prototyped, and you tested. You created new knowledge, you waded through ambiguity, you worked collaboratively, and of course, many of you optimized. Now on this graduate day, we send you on your way with enormous pride and hope. But at the same time, we are sending you out into a world at a very difficult and challenging time. It's a time we are all being asked to focus on traditions that we should honor and defend. It's also a time calling on us to create new traditions, better suited to human thriving in this century. It's a time when the issues are big, the answers are complex, the stakes are high, and the paths are uncharted. But class of 2025, you are prepared to face these daunting conditions. In the words of one of your classmates, MIT taught the class of 2025 to have, quote, confidence in your competence. You are ready to assess your environment, diagnose what is stale and what is broken, learn from history, apply your talents and skills, and create new knowledge. You are ready to tackle the toughest of problems. You are ready to shape the future. And while you are doing so, I ask that you keep MIT's values and missions at the center of your efforts to be bold and imaginative in tackling these big problems, and to do so with compassion and generosity. Now more than ever, we, meaning all of the world's people, need you to lean in. Once again, congratulations, class of 2025.